Well, I'm back. Okay, so coming back, I did all that little extra effort along the edge there for nothing. Had I been paying attention, um, I would have seen that marker back there, which told me to come down this trail, which is actually much better. <laughs> which is fine. I got to see. There is a trail going that way. It looks like people go on it. I'm sure it's for exploring on the other side. I don't know what's over there. I'd much rather explore um, another time when there's not so much snow and ice. This particular trail that I'm on right now, the marked trail, um, blue blazed. See it? Hang on a second. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm coming down. It's not too bad here, it's just a lot of leaves. And, uh, oh, you know, it's a typical Christmas time in New England here. A little bit of snow. Down where I live, it's, I don't think I hardly have any other than some leftover plow stuff in the front, my front yard. Otherwise my, green, my grass is, is still green in the backyard. I let my dog out today and he was rolling around in some of the leaves that were back there enjoying himself so we're not going to really get much snow here for christmas but hey i know a lot of you guys don't either so right but i live in new england well i'm looking at snow right now i'll show you in a second here there's some nice it's a nice view here in this little gully here area here that's See the trail going down through there. Up where I am, it's nice and worn. I think this is a pretty good, um, pretty fairly used trail. Um, although I know the ones that I do in my town are highly used, and if I was there today, there'd probably be lots of people. Um, I was reading this one here is uh, from what I, I was. Uh, seeing from some of the comments there's this it's moderately used so you know i i have my moods on uh what types of trails i want to go on and um this was good it was kind of the mood i was in i actually uh ran into actually sir about a half an hour ago it was a woman hiking solo by herself heading back out from the way i came and then um I saw a guy earlier, and that's about it. I haven't seen anyone else. I've been out here about an hour and 12 minutes. So, just heading down, just watching my footing. It's a little rocky. Here, check this out. It's kind of cool. Rocky. Much rather step on that. There were some areas that were icy, um, but most of them were on that area I was heading down uh, in my last uh, live video here. <laughs> I was heading down the wrong path because I didn't pay attention to that. The trail turned to the right. It looked like it kept moving on because there were footprints. Uh, that can happen to you, so just a bit of advice, unless you got all afternoon. Now, I don't recommend that in the winter i don't recommend that um too late in the day because you don't want to get lost out in the woods in the dark although i am semi prepared for that i'm not prepared to stay overnight now this particular trail i did see um i'm a little further out now but a while back i i was still seeing houses so i'm not like out in the middle of the wilderness here so i'm just up on a on a mountain that's um in farmington that uh, they happen to use for, you know, towers here for, I think, their radio and cell, and then they have um, these trails that they have here. Just paying attention up here. Okay. So the other challenge, so there's, there's pluses and minuses with winter hiking too, so <laughs> depending on where you hike. This particular trail has a lot of footprints, <laughs> which is what I was following when I got turned around. 
or off track, which can be good because then I kind of can focus on that and just keep looking up to see the blue blaze on the tree. What's nice in, you know, the spring and, well, more towards, I'm going to say, late summer, fall than, you know, a lot of people have trampled through and worn down the path, so you can always kind of tell where it is, and that's nice, too. You can kind of see where to go. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty good with direction. I know basically where my car is, and if I had to trudge through the middle here. Now, I will say, however, because I'm up on a mountain... <laughs> I don't know that I would do that because I don't really know the safe ways down and I could end up getting to an area that's not so safe to climb. And speaking of that, it looks like I'm doing an uphill through the snow. But it's not too bad here. It's not super steep. Well, it gets a little steep there. I may have to get kind of low to, yeah. I am kind of regretting wearing these boots today. They are not good for, see there's ice. I'm kind of capturing the rocks as I'm going up. I'm just stepping on those. My big hoof. Because that helps give me a little more grip and traction. The bottom of these boots, I don't know, I guess I wasn't thinking when I ran. <laughs> I was just too excited to get out today. I was like, oh, weather looks good. Spoke to my wife. I'm like, what are you doing? She says, I'm going to chill and watch TV. I'm like, hey, did my morning workout. Now it's a little time to come out. And I guess some people would consider this a workout. And it is, but for me, it's my rejuvenation. Anyway, I was looking forward to it. Because so, I get a little bummed when the weather or the timing doesn't work out. But... Hey, this is cool. Yeah, you know, look at this. So, kind of going along the edge here. There's my hand. Going up. There's a tree. Blue blaze. Telephone pole. Tower. That's a big tower. Look at this tower. Yeah, okay, hang on. I think a tree is blocking that. This one. So, I walked by. <laughs> this tower was amazing because I saw it from way off. There's one there. The suspension wires, I don't know if you can see them through the video. <laughs> I The trail actually walks, uh, goes along where the suspension wires for that tower are mounted into the ground. And I've seen those before, but this one is probably one of the taller ones I've seen. And it was just amazing to see, you know, how they've got them. Um, they actually have chains around, or chains, excuse me, fences I don't know if that's common, but I imagine it's for safety and for keep people from messing with them. They have fences around uh, where the uh, they mount into the ground. Big six-foot-high fences. They probably got cameras, too, because there were some buildings. I didn't go. They, they actually had signs saying not to go off trail. Uh, but there were signs coming in that also said, you know, stay away from the buildings, yada, yada. You know, this land is kind of donated. I imagine it's state land. So, they don't want, I guess they're saying you don't want to screw it up for other people, right? Next thing you know, people start vandalizing and messing things up, and they don't let you hike here anymore. You don't want that. All right, so we got a small enough state. <laughs> Although we do have a lot of places to hike. As you guys have probably seen, because I'm always going somewhere. All right. And I don't even really leave the state. <laughs> and I'm in the third smallest state, too. All right. I just came from down yonder. And when you saw me a few minutes ago, I was over there. I was up there. So, pretty cool. Oh, we're going to keep going up. Fun. Hey, up doesn't scare me. The only thing that scares me is slipping. I don't mind the uh, climb up. I have some friends who have hiked with me and complained because my legs are so powerful from carrying all the weight that I did. I can just climb up a hill nonstop. And, you know, it doesn't really bother my legs. Um... 
So I gotta be aware of that because my legs are go, go, go. And yeah, I remember folks, legs carried around the 400 pound me. Now that I'm half that, <laughs> and I lost most of the weight <laughs> walking and hiking, these legs are powerful. I've always had big legs too. Riding a bike, lots of hiking in the woods as a kid. So, I don't know. Some guys hate their skinny legs. I've always, <laughs> my legs are so big. <laughs> I've had, uh, well, I had edema on my right calf. <laughs> I actually have had pants that were too tight on my right calf. And I'm not talking skinny jeans. <laughs> These were regular work pants because my calf, you know, the muscle's big too, but you know, I had a little swelling from leftover from being obese. My veins don't drain like they should, so I get a little swelling there. So I do wear, I'm not wearing it today, but sometimes I wear compression um, sleeve or compression stocking to help with that. All right. That's FYI for any of you guys that are big and want to lose a lot of weight. And if you do have edema like me, some of that may or may not go away. It didn't go away for me. And sometime I'll give you guys some shots. I do have a little bit of varicose veins. Not bad. Not, not the blue veins, but I do have like the little veiny. And it's not like the bodybuilder legs, although my legs are like powerful. But I can tell it's, it's more varicose left over from me. I'm big. All right, so what's cool here, I see the path kind of splits off. Again, I don't know, you know, this area too well. I will come back another time and explore when I have time. Blue path. Okay, make sure I'm, where did it go? All right. Okay, this came here, I can still see it. I'm going to show you. This happens sometimes. You come on a trail. I will say this, it's funny because I did read, somebody was complaining. 